While you were in lockdown, doing your bit to keep us all safe, here at Green Party Headquarters, we've been working on an action plan, a really good one, to fix a bunch of things that the COVID-19 pandemic crisis has exposed. Now, it's fair to say that 2020 has been quite the year. What we know is people on low incomes and those who are out of work simply don't have enough to get by. This has become very clear very fast for many New Zealanders who unfortunately are now out of work for the first time. So we've got a plan to change that, a transformational overhaul of our social safety net that gives us the help that we need when we need it. It's called a guaranteed minimum income, and here's how it works. The guaranteed minimum income will replace all current working age benefits with a base rate of $325 a week. Now why $325? Well it's half what couples get on superannuation. It's about the equivalent of working 20 hours a week on the minimum wage. And it's in line with the increase suggested after a major review of our welfare system in 2019. That $325 will apply to all working age adults, including students. That's the lowest amount anyone will get. The guaranteed minimum income also has top-ups depending on your situation. For example, people with children. Families will get $190 a week for the eldest child and $120 a week for each younger sibling. Sole parents will get an extra $110 a week to reflect the incredibly difficult task of raising a child on a single income. And we'll extend the best start package to $100 a week for all children under three years old. If you find part-time work, which we know many are in the wake of COVID-19, you'll still get a portion of the guaranteed minimum income. We'll also reform ACC so that you're supported if you're unable to work because of sickness or disability, regardless of how it came about. It's enough to live with dignity because when people ask for help, we should help them. It's that simple. Now, I know what you're thinking, and you're right. This all sounds great and fair, but how are we going to pay for it? Well, under our current system, a few of us have been able to do really well, while the rest of us haven't been quite so lucky. That's because in New Zealand, we tax work and income, but we don't tax assets and wealth. In other words, we tax people who earn, but not people who own. To fund our guaranteed minimum income, we're proposing a contribution from the wealthiest 6% of New Zealanders. Wealth, by which I mean accumulated assets over $1 million, will be taxed at 1%. Wealth over $2 million will be taxed at 2%. It's similar to schemes in Switzerland, Norway, and others. And Switzerland and Norway are both wealthier, more productive countries than New Zealand, and have stronger social safety nets and public services. The wealth that they generate goes back into supporting everyone to contribute and to strong, well-run economies. Now, this new wealth tax applies only to net wealth after mortgages and debts are taken into account. What that means is that only the amount that you actually own counts towards this. Having a mortgage doesn't. Everything up to $1 million attracts no tax. So, if your house is worth, say, $1.2 million, but you've got a $700,000 mortgage, your net wealth is $500,000, and you won't pay any tax. But if your house is worth, say, $1.2 million, and you own it outright, you'll be taxed 1% of the $200,000 above $1 million, and your contribution will be $2,000 a year. The tax is levied on individuals, so if you jointly own that $1.2 million mortgage-free house with a partner, then your net wealth will be $600,000 each and below the threshold. If you're asset rich but income poor, there will be an option to defer payments until such time as an asset is sold. And we'll close up tax loopholes to ensure everyone pays their fair share. Because if the country is doing well, we should all benefit, not just 6% of us. Now make no mistake, this is a transformational change. But if we truly want to end poverty in Aotearoa, we need to be bold. And this is just a much fairer, much simpler way for us to help each other out when times are tough. Because in Aotearoa, we do have enough to go around, and the Green Party has a plan to make sure that all New Zealanders can live prosperous, fulfilling lives. 
no matter what crises life throws at us.